I see a lot of these entrepreneurial quotes and I kind of roll my eyes where it's if you leave lockdown and you haven't achieved something then you're a failure well I say that's completely wrong welcome to an episode of find your voice a movement led by yours truly Aaron Dew a guy who has overcome crippling anxiety, adversity, and difficulty like so many of you in life, whose main goal now is to help you combat your excuses, take control of your life, write your own story, and most importantly, find your voice. So now, without further ado, I welcome the host of the show himself, Mr. Aaron Dew. What's going on, people? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Find Your Voice. My name is Aaron, and as always, I am the host of the show. So today's a very, very short one, as you'll probably tell from the duration. And I've done that purposely because I don't want to take too much of your time today, but I want to talk about two really important things. Now, the first is Find Your Voice is now going live every single month on the second Sunday at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. local time. And the reason I've started to do this is because, especially during lockdown, It was very difficult to kind of have human interaction and human conversations and be able to see people and really almost transfer that energy and kind of feel like you're not alone. So I thought, why not open the platform, not just for myself to be able to communicate with other people, but also for the listeners as well. So we left, I think, with about one to two thousand views per episode and I really want to try and continue that so if you are feeling alone or you are feeling like episodes aren't coming out as often then do check that out please do check over on the find your voice Facebook page I will post them both there but I'm also thinking to upload every single episode including the ones that I have videos for onto a separate YouTube so I have a YouTube channel called find your voice podcast which I'm sure you've heard me talk about before where I'm going to still be releasing weekly content to really help you in your development and it could be about how to manage stress, how to build discipline and all that stuff that I think is very very important throughout life but more importantly I've got a separate one called Find Your Voice podcast episodes and now moving forward to the more important matter of today's topic was about post lockdown and how it's really I suppose heightened the anxiety amongst many of us. Now I live with anxiety so I know the feeling and I'm sure many of you listeners here also know that feeling too. But for many people, this is a strange occurrence because anxiety now for the first time has increased almost around the whole country. In fact, the world. It's been tough for everyone. There's times where people are uncertain as to what to do. Regulations almost seem to be changing on a weekly basis. People seem to have their own conspiracy theories. And I suppose even lockdown itself, it's become a bit of a competition. What did you achieve in lockdown? Now, I know for myself, for the first few weeks at least, I was really enjoying myself. I was reading books, I was learning to play the guitar, I was exercising, but then things really started to slow down. And as much as I am an introvert, I started to miss company, company of people. I started to miss the choice of being able to just leave my house and do something that I wanted. And now, exiting almost a lockdown now where hopefully fingers crossed we can go into a safer environment and get back to normality there's still that level of anxiety are we over this are we at risk or more importantly especially in my eyes are we putting other people at risk so I suppose this along with many other questions such as caring for your loved ones worrying about them worrying for your own health and safety as well is going to be a massive concern for everyone But I want you to know that, like I say with all these episodes, you are 100% not alone if you're feeling this level of overwhelm or uncertainty because I feel it too and the people I have conversations with all feel it as well. So what I'm actually going to try and do is get a medical professional onto the show. So if you are one and you want to join the show, please do reach out. You always know I'm very, very easy to contact. But if you can't, don't worry. I will make sure I get a medical professional out just to kind of give us some perspective in relation to what we could and what we shouldn't I suppose do as well because I don't want you all to come out of lockdown and feel any worse than you should. For many of us having that period of three to four months was a time of healing, was a time of reflection, perspective to really calm ourselves down and recognize what's important. It doesn't matter if you never learn a new skill. I see a lot of these entrepreneurial quotes and I kind of roll my eyes where it's if you leave lockdown and you haven't achieved something, 
then you're a failure. Well, I say that's completely wrong. I say every single one of us are individual and we all have our own needs. So you need to take the time to do what you need to do for yourself. So I hope you've been able to take that time. But I hope the next few months don't consume you with overwhelm and anxiety. And remember, go back to the shorter episodes. There's so many tangible tips and takeaways that you can use for anxiety, such as journaling, such as music, having conversations, going for a walk, getting out in nature, getting some vitamin D into your skin. I mean, there are so many tips and tricks that you know this as well, especially if you've been listening to the show for a long time. There are so many tips on this podcast that I hope help you. And don't forget the basics, good nutrition, hydration, smiling more often and doing the things that you love and less of the things that you hate will certainly help alleviate that anxiety. So I'm going to leave it there. I just thought it'd be nice to catch up with everyone. Of course, myself, I try and practice what I preach. So initially, the podcasts were coming thick and fast, but then I needed time to slow down as well, which probably explains the drip feeding of episodes. But that doesn't mean we don't have episodes recorded and I don't have so many great, fantastic ideas for the rest of 2020. But I also needed this time myself as well. So take as much time as you need. Stay tuned because I will get that medical professional onto this episode to maybe alleviate some of that uncertainty that you're going through and to really make the next few months that little bit more manageable. So on that note, I think it's probably a good time to leave it because otherwise it's going to end up being a very, very long episode. And that's the last thing I want to do. I want you to continue with your day and have a fantastic day. Make sure you do that. And of course, check out the YouTube channel where there's going to be so much weekly content that I'm so confident will help you find your voice. So until next time, thanks for listening. And remember, this podcast is absolutely free. So all we ask in return is for you to share this with a friend and drop us a five-star review over on iTunes. Have an awesome day.